the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, Truth or Girl Sonia here. I want to give you a heads up about something which I found here on Natural News. Health Ranger posts heavy metals test results for 364 more water samples from across America. Lead, copper, arsenic and aluminum numbers. Over the last year we processed over 600 water samples all tested for heavy metals and well what happened was that it, they said many of these results violate EPA water quality limit and expose potentially millions of Americans to toxic heavy metals in municipal water. Why is nobody conducting these tests? Why does the EPA cover this up? And there's a list here of the worst offenders by zip code. Some of them were high for aluminum, some for copper, a couple for lead, one very high for lead, and um, a one high for arsenic. And then you can see the original analyses here. So here's the thing. There's some good news and there's some bad news with this. Um, the good news is that if you look at the list, most of them are within the EPA limits. I mean, the vast majority. However, a few of them, as they say, were not within the limits, and some of them were quite far over the limit. The ones that are 50% of the EPA limit are highlighted in orange, and the ones that are over the limit are highlighted in pink. So here's the thing. The question is, why are they over the limit? When they say municipal water supplies. I kind of doubt that this means that they went to the water treatment plant of the town and took it from there, probably what they did was they took it from their own taps. And uh, the problem with tap water is that whatever is in your pipes will get into your tap water. So it could be that some people had lead pipes serving them drinking water, or that there was copper pipes. This will give you a lot of copper in the water. Sometimes you can even see that your water is kind of bluish in the bathtub. That's because of copper. For arsenic and aluminum, I'm not sure how that got in there. I mean, it is concerning. Uh, it could be from the pipes, uh, but if it's from the municipal water supply itself, that's even worse. And then, yeah, why why is nobody testing it or uh, doing anything about it? Not good. And although most of the samples were within the limits, uh, the study goes to show that there are people out there who are drinking water that's really unsafe. I mean, having that much lead in your water that's, that's terrible, especially for kids or, or if you're pregnant. So I wanted to let you know uh, that these results were in. So you might want to go check out the list and see if your municipality is on there. And again, it could be from that person's pipes, but go check it out. And you might want to have your water tested. What did occur to me also, which is kind of good news, is people had been concerned about chemtrails, spraying aluminum. A lot of people are kind of concerned, like could there be a lot of aluminum in the drinking water because of weather modification programs, but uh, apparently not. I mean, if you look at the list, as far as aluminum goes, there's not that much aluminum in there, except for in two places. And the other good news was that no one had mercury in their drinking water. So just giving you a heads up, and uh, thanks for liking and sharing this video, and thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.